Maybe you took antibiotics or you went on a sugar binge or let's say you started taking birth control pills or you consume alcohol on a regular basis. And in many patients with histamine intolerance, this is exactly what we see on their stool testing. And it's the reason why the bloating and the abdominal pain is there. Either you have too many histamine producing bacteria or you don't have enough histamine degrading bacteria. So again, it's about that balance. Now again, on a stool test, those opportunistic bacteria like Klebsiella and Morganella and Pseudomonas, these again are just a few of the species that we see take over when given the chance. Now, as these bacteria, they, as they begin to colonize, they get stronger and stronger and stronger. That's exactly what they're doing on this patient of mine whose test that you can see right here. Well, here's a few things you need to do that will help improve bloating, help improve abdominal pain, probably improve the diarrhea, and probably improve many of your histamine intolerance symptoms. Number one, start out avoiding high histamine foods. Eliminate foods such as fermented products. This is gonna be sauerkraut, uh, soy sauce, aged cheeses, smoked meats, alcoholic beverages. Now for a period of time, you may also need to stop eating really all forms of sugar. Maybe you need to stop all grains, all starchy carbs, and you may need to follow a low glycemic index. A diet. Here's where keeping a food diary can help in identifying and correlating how you feel with the different foods, right? So again, keep um, a chart of your symptoms and keep a, an intake of your food.